All right, Chris, you asked about major and minor scales. Are they the foundation? Do I expect that you know them already? The answer is I don't expect that you know them. And for a lot of pop and rock, they're not very useful. Um, the technique you build from them can't hurt, but you, I seldom use them to improvise. I use sixths and thirds and blues and pentatonic scales predominantly. Um, but they're still very, very important. So on day one, I taught you how to play the major scale on the first string and how to play the minor scale. They both have pairs of half steps. So that's one thing to keep in mind when you're playing minor scales. You have to be able to identify where the two half step junctures are. So think about the minor pentatonic as preeminent, as, as the main thing. It's like a shell that you fill in with two notes to get a, a natural minor scale. So play a whole row of minor pentatonic starting at five. I call this the big five at five because all the root notes at the fifth fret are the main five guitar keys. So that's an A natural, then you have D. Sorry, what did I do? G, keep your first and third fingers on it as you shift. And you C minor, you shift up right away, stay shifted. And then for E, you have to find a note under the tonic to finish it off. Now you're going to go through and add the two and the flat six to each one. So you're going to go one, two, so now I've added the major second. That's going to be true for all five scales. One, two, flat three, and four, five, flat six. There's my other half step. Flat seven, eight. So now I want you to double the notes and go. I like to just play a single on the final note. And then do the whole row that way. I'm just going to expedite here. D minor, G minor. Now I'm going to use two and four just to practice those weak fingers. Uh, C minor, do that shift and then stay shifted, and E minor. I encourage you once you've memorized the shapes, the patterns, to do those all as double notes. You could even try triple notes, triplets like one, two, three, 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 or even um, 16th notes. This really builds a lot of um, confidence and precision in the right hand. Final thing to try, take any of these scales that you're fond of um, that day and isolate the intervals one at a time. So you develop an independent relationship with them, not just in a linear relationship. So starting with familiar things like the perfect fifth as a power chord, then the octave. Okay, you can try the perfect fourth. Okay, the minor sixth. Six are very melodic intervals. Minor third, major second, uh, and do that for each scale too. Once you've oh, the minor seventh, that'll help you develop a clearer sense of what all the intervals are and, and how they they sound. Um, have fun, dude.